Hey guys, what's up? Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're going to be going over in the video the storage or lack thereof on my Triumph Trident 660. Um, I have a 2022 model and if you have one of these you just know how hard it is to put anything, mount anything for storage. Under the seat you've got barely anything, maybe for some paperwork and that's all I got under there. I've tried the um, tail bag but it just slipped and slid all over the place and covered the brake light and there's just you know, looked ugly and didn't really store much. So I decided to go for the saddlebags, which I went for the Hepco and Becker ones, which are right here in this box. I didn't even open it up yet, but we're gonna open it up and we're gonna go see what's involved and go through the installation. And in the video, I'm gonna talk about why I chose these compared to other saddlebags that are out there. And uh, you know, we'll go through the installation, see what it's like to install these. Hard, easy, I don't know. All right, so we're opening this up. I've ordered this from Motor Machines, and I'll put a link to the, the channel and the, um, their, their website down below. I gotta say their customer service was excellent. Um, I ordered it, and then a week later, I still didn't see anything as far as movement and shipping. So I reached out to them, and I threw an email, and they got back to me, you know, probably within the hour, and said, you know, sorry, it was, uh, you know, they want back order, maybe a couple weeks before we get them again. So I said, okay, just you know, cancel my order, please. They're like, all right, no problem. I was gonna try somewhere else, or maybe even try a different bag, which I'll put links to the other bags that I was gonna try. And uh, that was on Monday, today's Friday. I got a call on Wednesday, and sure enough, it was uh, the guy over at Motor Machines. I forget the guy's name I spoke with, but he's like, listen, we just got them in today. It's a price shipment. If you want, we can fulfill your order. I said, go ahead. They shipped them out that day. I got this, you know, the, what was that, Wednesday? Today's Friday. They came, They arrived in the mail today. So good on you, Motor Machines. Great customer service. And thanks for getting these out to me. Really appreciate it. So let's see what we got here. Here's the key. Um, this is one of the features I really liked it's, as far as the, the mounting system. Uh, these are the waterproof covers. And here we've got a whole SIBO system. Instructions and bolts, and these are the brackets that the saddlebags are going to mount onto. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. You have the SIBO system. This mounts, these three mount to here, and you've got these which are 10 millimeter, and these just come through. Match it up like that. Now in the instructions, they show you mounting this whole thing to the bike first and then installing this. But you know what, it's probably easier. I think it's gonna be easier to install this first while it's off the bike. And we do the other side. All right, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the um, passenger pegs this is, what size is this, six? Size six. Place these with these longer ones. So we're gonna do this on both sides. All right, so the way this is gonna go. Let's see, how do we do this with one hand? Get one. All right, good. That's one. So now we're gonna do another one on the other side to even it out a little. Just gonna do this one by hand. All right, well these are the, this is the rack on. I had a little bit of problem. I mean, it's on here sturdy. These are all on there. I had a problem with this side. I think I actually stripped this guy. It has a little gap, not much, but when it was going and went in easy, then it got hard. And then uh, I backed it out, tried the original screw. It went in easy and then it went hard. And I guess somewhere in there it's a cross strip, so I just I tightened it. I mean it's it's tight, it's not loose. So 
you know, just be careful. I don't know how that cross strip so or cross threaded so easily. It, it definitely feels like it cross threaded because it goes easy and then it gets hard and then it's, it's pretty hard going in. So, uh, I mean, it's not going anywhere. There's no rattling, no shaking. So I'm just going to leave it, leave it as is. Now the bags, they just mount. Let's just go this way. It slides right on. And then key. Oh, and it's on there. So it's really easy. Key out, and they lift up. It's got this little key mechanism. You see, just turns and interlocks into that. So this just goes right on like that and then locks. Let's see, I'm gonna try the other key. Yeah, you know what? They're keyed. They said, hey, they say 007. All right, so there they are installed. The only thing I don't like about these bags is this big logo. I might just take some black fabric spray paint and spray over there, I don't know, it depends. I just don't like the way that looks. Otherwise, I think they look good. We'll get a nice outside shot tomorrow when it's, when it's nice out. Inside you've got, this here, you got a little, I shouldn't say a little compartment. That's actually a pretty decent sized compartment. I tried to do this with one hand. And then you've got the main compartment. And look, look, they got these nice, uh, these rubber like seals that kind of seal up that help keep the water out. And then of course they've got the rain covers, but yeah, here's those straps. All right, so it's the next morning and I saw these straps in the bag. I didn't know exactly what they were for, but then after reading instructions, which instructions are good, found out if you have a lot of weight in the bags, these little things come out and this snaps right into here and into here. And you just tighten these up to pull some of the weight this way and get some support over here. This way you don't have so much dragging down on here. I just thought it was pretty cool. And that's, I guess, if you're carrying heavy stuff. You don't have to put this here. This is just if you have extra weight. But you've got your main pouch, and then you got your smaller pocket here, which is pretty cool. It's pretty deep, and it looks like it'll hold a good amount. So, so, all right, so to recap, these are the Hepco & Becker saddlebags for the Triumph Trident 660. And, um, you know, they fit good, the install was easy. Only hard part was, like I said, that the one thread that I, I kind of cross-threaded, which is my bad, so don't do that. Um, you know, they're on here secure, they're, they, seem like they're gonna be great. They've got plenty of room for what for what I need it for. Um, yeah, this isn't a beggar, this isn't a touring bike. I just want something so when I'm running to the store, I can put stuff in, you know, when I'm at work and I wanna you know, grab lunch, I can just, you know, go somewhere, throw my lunch in here and, uh, and beyond. And I think actually they look pretty cool. I think it actually gives the bike a nice, uh, nice look. I'm actually, I wanna get some outside pictures tomorrow uh, once it's nicer outside. Uh, the other bags, I forget the name, I think SW Moto or something like that. I'm going to put the link in the description and somewhere over here. But those bags I looked at, uh, only because I didn't get them, I liked the way the bags themselves looked better on the, the other manufacturer. I liked the, the style of the bags. They didn't have this big Hepco and Becker logo on. They just looked a little bit more sleek. Uh, they looked maybe a little bit bigger. I'm, I'm not sure. That's just in the pictures. But the thing I didn't like about it is... You know, it went over the, the back of the, uh, of the tail. Uh, so it kind of rested on the tail, and then they had these bars that came out that supported uh, these, and they didn't lock on the bike. You know, anyone could probably just take the whole thing and lift it and slide it off. But I like the way these bags mount. Uh, they're very sturdy. I like the way they lock. I like the mounting system. Uh, like I said, the only thing I didn't like was the Hepco and Becker. I love the ease of these bags where they mount on just in, lock, done. So that's pretty cool. So, all right guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, all the links will be in the description down below. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them below. I, I try and answer as much as I can and I enjoy reading them. 
Uh, if you like the channel, if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe for, for more upgrades to this bike and also other bikes that I'm looking at to add a second bike to my arsenal over here. So uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Have a great one. Later.